Uh, what's good, YouTube? Y'all already know it's your boys. Them boys crazy. Y'all already know it's your boy Royce Rob in this month, man. I already know what's going on, man. I know it's your boy Cam Official. Anytime you see our face, you know it's time for another reaction. Man, this is why he did charge. Why he talking about Michael Blackson? You know what I'm saying? Basically, Michael. I'm guessing Michael Blackson saying that we don't know if which car really snitched until Young Thug says something. You know what I'm saying? So yep. we finna see what uh. Charles White talk about it. He got a lot of views in a short amount of time, so he must be saying some wow. You already know. You never know what my boy Charles and White. Let's see. Man. My bad, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. Ah, I think it's you got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It probably is. What what you call it? Ain't this right? Mm-hmm. Nah, keep it on the keep the green there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Michael Blackson spoke out. He said, quote, Man, Jack in a heart. Man, Jack it tough. If my comedian Michael Blackson spoke out, he said, quote, if my homie gets locked up with me because of some shit I started, and I know I'm not getting out no time soon, believe it or not, I'll tell him go to court and tell them I did it. He so ain't never do, been in so trouble with be, the law. Say, see, these are niggas who ain't never been in trouble with the law, homie. Michael Blackson ain't never been locked up for murder. Uh, Lil Duval ain't never done time on no murder case. These entertainment are running their motherfucking mouth, homie. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish the quote. Let me finish. He said, because you can do more for me outside of jail than being in there with me. That's how you know he ain't never been to jail. Who mm -hmm. do that don't do nothing for the in jail. It ain't been a nigga that took the case. Started the game. Say, y'all, I'm going to take everything. And y'all take good care of me while I'm in here. <laughs> he, that's how you know that ain't never been in the streets. See, I ain't gonna lie. I, when, when he, when, when Charles White first be saying stuff, I be like, man, you crazy. But then he be getting, this, he be getting to making some some valid mm -hmm. points. I ain't gonna lie. What he's saying is true. true. Like, oh, be real. It, it's easy said and done, but like, it's like if if you want you want uh, thirteen your thirteen your guys. Mm -hmm. Supposed to catch a case and you the one that supposedly did it something, you like, yeah, yeah, I'll just tell them it was me. Hold it down for me and make sure y'all, y'all make sure I'm good with them. Like, that's cool. When you doing them nine years and they got wives and kids okay, and they're they getting free, money, you then, you, then when you finally get free, you come out, they give you 10 bands. Yeah. Like, uh, they were making nothing shake. That's an African mumbo jumbo shit just talking <laughs> <laughs> been in the streets. That's an African mumbo jumbo shit just be talking. <laughs> maybe they do that in Africa in the jungle, but they don't do that in the hood. Yeah, yeah, them project, maybe them jungle boys do it, but but hood, yeah, hood don't do it. Yeah, maybe them walking in that, that red dirt with them long feet and them big, big toes. Maybe they help each other. They go to them African jail, but over here in America, go to jail, they go fuck your woman. Uh, they ain't stay go, they go in the your daughter, you stand there too much long. Oh, she's oh, me. I put that oh, on my me. life, bro. It's crazy that this man ain't said that. Because I know somebody who did that for real, bro. Like, no BS. <laughs> that man ain't smashed his partner daughter. Like, but then when he got out, though, type shit. You remember? Buddy, folks. Crazy. Wow, boy. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I said, Charles White do be saying some real. Oh, me. He be saying some real. <laughs> he just talking, Sean. So, <laughs> that's why we shouldn't listen to these entertainers. So wait, 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 wait. So you don't think Young Thug talked to Slime Life Shorty, Gunna, Lil Duke, and told them to take the plea so they can get out and benefit and feed their families and help his family? You don't think this is planned? Say, only listen. No, this ain't planned. Hell no, this ain't planned. Man, the way that nigga lawyer over there fighting for him to suppress evidence, and hell no, this ain't planned, nigga. Y'all really believe that there's honor amongst these. The mafia didn't do it. 
Come on, homie. These niggas, these niggas, Sammy's been struggling. Sold, what's that boy's name on? Young thug. Sister been hollering like a motherfucker. Boy, we heard about my brother gone. God damn. Nigga, the jeweler's been saying, hey, man, this nigga owe me some goddamn money on them <laughs> for jewelry. Shit. Man, nigga, come on, homie. Y'all want us to believe that they done got all these niggas and all these niggas is silent enough to say, yeah, put it on me. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Y'all want to sell that shit? Y'all keep living. Y'all keep. Uh, BMF didn't do it. And BMF was making way more money than these King Slime niggas. Yeah. Uh, the Genovese family didn't do it. Uh, 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 what's, what's John Gotti family? They family didn't do it. So what makes y'all think these little old poor ass niggas uh, <laughs> in the ghetto, they done stood on some principles and some codes that nobody before have been able to stand on? This, this have been proven. Nobody, homie. When they get a group of niggas, it's only been one group I done seen in my lifetime that done done it. The bikers in yeah. Waco. Mm. The white boy bikers in so Waco. It's so crazy because the only time it was, <clears throat> but it was so many other folks and then not one person saying that, so they just mm -hmm. let them all go. All go. It was it, bro, them folks. bro, they, 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 they was the was I ain't gonna lie. Well, and those was multiple gangs. That just wasn't one gang of bikers. Those was rival gang bikers that didn't even like each other. They were crazy. I've never seen that done other outside of them, homie. So, now, my nigga, how you beat them is this. Nobody talk. Nobody talk, nigga. I got caught with 10 pounds of weed going through Atoka, Oklahoma, 1999. Nigga, I'm the driver. I tell everybody in the car, nigga, don't say nothing. Just give me your ID. When we go to trial, and the motherfucking prosecutor asked the state trooper, well, what was they going with the marijuana? He said they were trafficking it to Arkansas. They had Arkansas memorabilia, Arkansas license plate. My lawyer jumped up. Doug Elliott, white boy lawyer out of, out of, out of Durant, jump up and say, I object, your honor. Some, 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 some. And to this day, I don't know what the f he said. We had it. The white boy judge with the gray hair leaned forward and said, Find it in the book stand. We're going to recess. Hit the goddamn gavel. We go to recess. He stayed gone for about two hours. Come back. I got it, Your Honor. And we had a mistrial because we invoked our right to remain silent. We didn't say where we were going, what we were doing. Can't tell the most jewelry that you misleading the jewelry. Mm -hmm. He said, We had a mistrial. So they took that five to 99 off the table mm -hmm. and offered me five years of deferred adjudication and six months in a in a motherfucking me boot camp, prison light boot camp. So nigga, silence is how you been. Not that we all agreeing that this is a game, because if we all agree this is a game, nigga, they can put me away. A gang leader too? So, no, nah, homie, and the niggas ain't that smart. They damn sure they smart in jail. <laughs> it's true, though. I ain't gonna lie. Well, he, man, the man Charles, I do be saying some, some, some reals. I ain't gonna lie. Cause when, it, when it comes to gun stuff, bro, it's like, I, I, I don't know if it's because it's, it's gun or like. It's because it's gonna, bro. Yeah. Because, like I said in the last video, it's because gonna already had the reputation. Mm -hmm. Up the industry, so that's why everybody, you know, made it a big deal. Like, did he do it or not? Cause I'm just being real. If one of them other dudes had got out first before Gunner, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They probably still would have been like, I wonder if they snitch, but it wouldn't be broadcasted like how mm -hmm. Gunner being broadcasted. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Bucks. Cause I sure be like, man, they on to my thing on this though. <laughs> Damn, that's the toughest. Everybody talking about everybody making it a topic. If, if you got a, people doing an interview, they asking you, so how you feel about um gone in this situation? Like, bro, I'm just being real. At the end of the day, <laughs> look, I don't know if he did, I don't know if he did. It, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I'm just saying that. <laughs> yeah, I know where I'm going with it, but hey, I ain't said nothing. Yeah. <laughs> my boy was on a breakfast club. I was like, man, no, he, oh, he did that after he got out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when you go, it didn't look too good, 